Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick unboxing for you. Today, we are going to unbox the Burrito Supreme Handlebar Bag by Roadrunner Bags, handmade in the USA, Los Angeles, California, by cyclists for cyclists. So I picked this guy up to throw on the Cervelo Esfero, my gravel bike. Pretty excited about it. It's gonna help me get some of the things out of my pockets and into this bag, as well as if I do wanna carry a little bit more stuff when I'm out for those longer rides, I will be utilizing this. The beauty of it is that it's easy to take on and off, and if I wanna go out and go for a nice hard ride and make sure that I keep a little bit of the aerodynamics and don't have a big bar bag on the front, I can just simply take this off really quickly. So this guy is 2.6 liters of storage capacity. It is eight inches wide by about five inches deep. And that's a circumference kind of depth. You can see it's a round bag here. Uh, it is made of Kadura. So it is a nice durable material. We have webbing straps on the front so if you want to attach things and you do have some molly straps, you could definitely add more to the front of this bag. Now, some of the features that attracted me to this one, again, is just, you know, because the size isn't massive. Roadrunner does make a smaller bag, which is just the burrito, and then it makes the California, which is a size larger. I decided to go in the in-between one because I wanted something that could potentially fit uh, my Mavic Mini in there, my drone you know, the GoPro and, and some other things. And I figured this would be big enough to carry it, but you know, wasn't going to be total overkill. So as you can see, we've got YKK zippers. So it's nice and weather sealed. So if you do get yourself caught out in the rain, that that's going to be not an issue. You can also see uh, this is an improvement over their earlier bags as you have this sort of rubber zip pull and you've got the zip tabs here to help pull open. Uh, the nice thing about this is that when you have the metal clasp from zippers, the, you know it does actually make a fair bit of noise when you are riding about, and this should dampen that completely. So it is a good rigid in the front, soft on the sides. We also have YKK buckles. Uh, you can see we also have the webbing back here in which you can adjust it so you can move these closer depending on your bike and how you want to mount it. You've got a nice good inch and a bit of Velcro here uh, attached to the tab in the back to attach to your stem or your head tube to, you know, attach the bag even further to your bike so it's not completely bouncing around. And the bag's looking pretty good. You have a couple straps on the side here. Now you could easily use those as anchor points to attach something uh, so you can use it as a sling bag when you get off the bike. These will be nice, these clasps, as you can see, just nice and quick to adjust, to tighten up. Also quick to kind of take things off because if you are booting around in the city, you're not going to want to leave this, you know, sort of sitting on your bike. So, you know, the big question for things like this is really kind of what is a 2.6 liter capacity bag going to uh, take up? You know, it's, it's difficult to see, but uh, we've got some things to throw in there. But first, what we're going to do is throw it on the scales just to get a rough idea of what this bag weighs. So we've got the scale out, let that zero out, and then we'll throw it on there. So we're coming in at about 129 grams. So, you know, a fairly light bag as far as things go. You know, there, there's no padding in there. Like I said, it's just kind of rigid, which is good. So we're gonna do, you know, what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw some stuff in there. So I've got a pump, which fits quite easily in there. Uh, we've got some noon tabs, uh, which are always good to have for water. You know, we've got a, you know, regular tire tube in there. You know, we've got a cliff bar. We'll stack that in there. Bike tools, always good to carry around. Some extra juice just in case you need it for your camera or your cell phone. In this day and age, you know, you can never do without some hand sanitizer. We've got... You want to do some vlogging, we're going to throw the GoPro in there. You know, we've got some mints as well. 
you know, always good to have a trusty pocket knife with you if you're out in the bush. And even we're going to throw the cell phone in there and you can see, hopefully, that, you know, there is still actually a good amount of room in there. So you can carry a fair amount of stuff. And, and, and I mean, that's not even close really to full. I would say we can fill that up even more, you know, but, but I've run out of stuff. So, I mean, that's really cool. So, you know, you can put all your gear in there and that's not really going to be an issue. And that's what we're looking for in storage. And, and again, you know, for me, there is that balance kind of between what is too much and what is too little. For me, I, I do not really kind of want to have a tiny bag. I've got the little bento box on the Asphero where I can throw some gels and, and things that I need readily accessible. And in this case, you know, I don't want anything too massive, but I don't want it too small as well because as I mentioned, you know, this was something that I wanted to do is potentially throw the Mavic Mini in there. So let's just grab that and take a look and see how that fits. All right, so first off, we're just gonna put the controller in there, put that in in the bottom. That fits in absolutely no problem whatsoever. And now we've got the Mavic Mini and we'll just open that up and we'll throw that in there as well. So you can see that fits in quite easily. I'm not sure how well you can see and there is still a good amount of space. So I mean you could easily throw again more stuff in there and you know SD cards you know, cliff bars, your phone, all that kind of stuff. You could still pack a good amount of stuff. So overall, I'm going to have to say that uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how this bag has sort of looked and turned out the fact that it can carry camera equipment, you know, get the drone in there and take it off with ease. That is fantastic to see. So that is a look at the Burrito Supreme, a Kodura handlebar bag from Roadrunner Bags based out of California. I have to say, I am impressed thus far. We're going to have to put it through its paces. But I think if you're looking for a nice, you know, sort of small to medium size bag to throw on your gravel or road bike, that this guy is a perfect option the nice zipper of course you've got the sound deadening zipper as well a good compact size i think it's going to be awesome and you will probably enjoy it as much as i think that i'm going to enjoy this thing if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like comment subscribe hit that bell button so you get notifications and until next time see ya